Man, what's up, man? I'm here on Rodeo. Uh, Peter Marco hit me up. Said he's got some new stuff in. I'm about to check it out. Let's see what he got, man. I know it's gonna be good. All right, got you. Thank All you. Right, thank you. Thank you. We got my hop. We got mobs. You couldn't even do your take. You was taking pictures of. Them. Yeah, I was. I was photographer for everybody yeah, today. Photographer for everyone. <laughs> but it's a blessing, man. Amen. It's such a blessing that these people even want to take pictures with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of celebrities don't get how blessed they are. I know it sounds really cliche, but without our fans, who are we? I've never denied any fan a picture. Never. Even if I'm mid-stroke with a fork and I'm eating. I still get up and I take pictures with my fans because, you know, they're all we got, man. I love my fans, man. What's up, my man? What's up, my man? Good to see you, brother. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. Good Always a pleasure. Yeah, you looking right? good. Yeah, you've been traveling a lot. Of course. Doing your thing, you know. All right. Yeah, you told me you have some things. So, you uh, you wanted some things for Milan Fashion Week. Yes. And um, so I pulled out some really special items. Okay. I know we talked on the phone a little bit. Um, what can I say, man? The best of the wow. best. Wow. 44 millimeter chandelier. Yeah. I have it in rose. Oh, man. I have it in white. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on a strap. Oh. It's called Spoiling Jeremy. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. Look at this. Just one good one after another. Yeah, definitely. 41 millimeter. Oh, man. So these get a lot of attention, you know, um, the AP, um, subdials, all chandelier, all the get, all over with ashers. I mean, look at this bezel. You yeah. know, it's invisibly set. You have a, a row of diamonds on the side, a row on the top. Wow, the craftsmanship is yeah. incredible. That's what it's all about, man. On another note, I have a diamond missing. That's from you know. dancing wild on the dance floor. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we gotta turn up too much. If only this watch could talk. Exactly. <laughs> we would hear stories. Exactly. <laughs> you think you can take care of this for me? Yeah, absolutely. Give me about an hour, we'll get it done. Amazing. It's still a beautiful watch, man. Oh, man. That bezel's crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, Peter, Peter takes care of me. Always, always. All the time. Look at he takes stuff. care of me. <laughs> Paddock family, we got this, we got it with the baguettes, now clean you, face, baguette markers. Yeah, you know every time I come in here, I look at this one. I know. And I'm just showing you these to reinforce that you're making the right decision on yeah. that one. These are all beautiful, but that's just in a league oh, by itself. Man, this is something else. I think, you know, for you, you're all over the world. So when you're in these elegant, classy places, this just looks like, you know, it's a $400,000 watch. This is my dream watch, for sure. When he's on the train in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And they're all pretty much a 1,000 grams, 100 carats of diamonds. These have baguettes on the side of the lock. And oh. the stones are not small. They're, they're very large stones. And yeah, it's I mean, raised palm. You, you can see, see these? Yeah. Yeah, that's serious. Major. Serious. Oh man. Okay, so I have Milan Fashion Week. I have to go to Moscow. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good things in the works. Yeah. And you got to represent. Of course. You got to show. It. Yeah, only the best. Of course. Good for you, brother. And you know, if I need the best, I got to come to the oh, best. Oh, thank you. Thank and you, so man. Thank you. I gotta I come to the best. I love thank you, you so much. Love you too, bro. You already know. Always. Um, and then. A carrot and a half each. A carrot and a half each. This is tight. You guys, a carrot and a half each. Of course, with the matching bracelet. Wow. We do yellow, we got a smaller white, we got the Cuban Gucci link going on, mm. which is really nice. Oh, so that's what this is. That's, that's a Gucci link. Yeah. Okay, I didn't and know that. And then I have, let's mm. see. Learning something new. Cuban Gucci Lee combo. Oh, it's a nice touch. 
So you got two colors going on, and then you got two different links going on. Yeah, this is crazy. It stands out, yeah. For sure it stands out. Come on, Milan Fashion Week. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. I don't know so much to choose from. So again, this is a little smaller. You know, it's 40 millimeter as opposed to the 44. Yeah. A little more classy, a little more elegant. This is anywhere in the world, I don't care, European, Canadian, anywhere in the world's gonna yeah. recognize this. This was, I believe, close to a million dollars when they first did it. Yeah? Yeah, crazy. Oh my gosh. So give me like, give me like, uh, give me like a, a two minutes. Like, how did you get into diamonds? Um, this whole country is built on success stories, right? Yeah. Everybody's got their story where they came from nothing. And uh, that's what happened with me. You know, my dad left when I was four and uh, grew up on the streets of New York mm -hmm. from about, um, Four to about 14, lived in Queensbridge projects. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the most notorious projects in the United States. For sure. On the street, hustling. And then I got an opportunity at 14 to go up to this jewelry company and uh, clean bathrooms and vacuum and dust. So you started from the bottom. From the bottom. And from the you bottom. Know, listen, you take a kid from the street now and you put him in it, the first thing in my mind was jewelry, diamonds, money, I'm gonna rob the place. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna. And I went up there and it was like, changed my whole life. Yeah. You know, this was 1976. Wow. And um, you know, I just was exposed to a lot of nice people that were really successful, making good money, whether they were salespeople, diamond setters, jewels, polishers. I hustled my way up. I did good at what I did, even if it was cleaning the bathroom. Yeah. You're gonna do something, do it right, exactly. do 100%. Yeah. And then they gave me an opportunity to become a jeweler. And I was on the bench, and I was a jeweler, and a setter, and a polisher. I was designing. Then I went in production, learned all about stones. I graduated high school, and they said, "I think you're going to be a good salesman." <laughs> you did all this before high school. Before all, you graduated before high, high school. school. And wow. then my mom met a man and remarried her when I was 16, mm. and my whole family moved to Europe. Mm. And I went out at 16 and got my own apartment. Mm. So I went to school. I cleaned. I cooked. I worked. I paid my bills. I did my homework. You know, and you grow up quickly. Yeah. You grow up real quick on the streets. Yeah. yeah, there's no schooling for the streets and for travel. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity to do both. So I grew up on the streets. I learned it. Um, I used to go to school from straight up from 7:30 in the morning to 11:30. I worked from 12 to 6 at the company, and then I went to Washington Irving Night School, mm -hmm. which is on 14th Street Union Square, Manhattan, mm -hmm. from 6:30 to 9:30. And I did that for three years just to get enough credits to graduate high school because I needed a certain amount of credit. And I was supposed to be going to school from 7.30 to 3.30. Yeah. So I broke it up and worked. And then, it then I went on the road at 18. And you give that boy that football, he's gonna run with yeah. it, he ain't gonna look back. Hit the ground running. That's it. And that's what I did. Look, you built an empire. Thank you, brother. I've been straight up and honest and sincere my whole life. I treat people like they're my family. Everybody wants to have a connection, mm -hmm. but they want the connection to be real. Yeah. And that's what I put out there, you know. I, you, you built, you built, an empire from diamond dust. I did, bro. With That's blessings and, and hard work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, really proud. It's been 20 years that we're in this spot now. You've been in this store for 20 years? 20 years. Wow. Yeah. And I'm 58. I've been doing this since I'm 14. So it's a, you know, 44 Many year career. Yeah. You know, dedicated my whole life to this business. And I'm really well connected. There's not a cutter or manufacturer that that flies under the radar that I don't know about, yeah, yeah. you know? And I'm good people, people yeah. trust me. So they send know. me what I need. I love you like a brother. I'll do Same anything here, for you. Same here, you always, know. always my brother. Yeah. Always, yeah. you're a good dude. Yeah. And I thank you for this opportunity to Come put on. this out there and showcase. Of course, thank you. But you know, like if you have a son, you're gonna tell him, you're gonna tell your son, like I tell mine, yeah. always do the right thing. Always be straight up and honest. If you fake or you a phony, that's a short-lived life. They're gonna find out, you're gonna get caught, you're gonna get wrapped up. Eventually. Right? So yeah. you just gotta keep it real, and that's what people want. You have to. Think on it for a little bit, yeah, I it's think, a big decision. You know, I think you can have more than one look maybe. You okay. can go with the big diamond, a little toned down, but really big stones. Yeah. And then I think you dress it up with a Cuban look, yeah. whether it's the Gucci or not. And then the watch, 
you know, I think one day I might do the paddock, the next day I might do a chandelier. Yeah. You know, white goes with everything. Like you put this on with that white and yellow, you're, you're fine. Yeah. I know so I mean. cool. Okay. Let me try something else on. I mean, you're gonna see this from a distance. Yeah. Say this to anyone you guys come in here it doesn't have to be big pieces you don't have to come to peter marco for a big piece man you can come for a little piece they got all kind of fun stuff just come and talk to them tell them jeremy sent me he's gonna take care of you always <laughs> honestly i have things from 500 dollars on up and that 500 dollar piece would be 1500 outside yeah so you oh everyone's welcome we value and appreciate every opportunity You're gonna need a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah. Serious. And this one, you might wanna, I don't know. Yep, so get that in the front. Yep, get the cushion on the front. And then um, paddock on one hand, flower set, big diamond bezel. And we got the chandelier we're gonna put on the other hand. So, as far as I'm concerned, since you're a world traveler, you need a two time zones. So this will be in the LA time, and this will be wherever you travel. <laughs> it, makes, it makes sense. Ooh. I'm telling you guys, anything is possible. Don't ever get up. Keep, keep grinding. Keep hustling. Shoot for your dreams. You can do anything you want. I'm, I promise you. You just have to take that first step. Take that hard step of actually doing something. I have a couple days to kind of figure it out. So. I'll probably be back in tomorrow. Okay. I have a mental note of everything you looked at. Yeah. And um, we'll uh, let's look at your outfits and what you're going to wear yes. too. Yes. And we'll coordinate the colors with the outfit. Of course. And uh, also the shirt and the neckline and everything, whether yeah. it's a peekaboo inside or whether it's outside. That means a lot. It's yeah. everything. Okay. So, uh, with, you know, with the right outfit, you can. Thank if you. If I got a total neck in. Of course, brother. I can't tell you how happy hey. I am. Thank you for the opportunity, right. bro. Appreciate Love it, you. man. You already know. Too. You already always, know. Always got you. All right, you're gonna have to um, you have to take this off. Or I'm gonna walk out with just you. Just right for now. just for a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I know you're all set up for Fashion Week. Yeah. But you know I like to shoot things by you and bounce things over you and like to. You always give me the opportunity to showcase you some. So I got to show you some stuff I just did. Let's do I just it. some crazy Let's stuff. Let's do it. All right. All right. Let me just finished this. This is a 25 carat emerald cut. Isn't that crazy? Wow. That is a F VVS one, over the top stomp. Mm. Special. Crazy, right? That's crazy. And then a matching bracelet. Look at this puppy. It's domed, it's not flat. It looks big, but when it's on the wrist, it just fits perfectly. It hugs the wrist. Okay, so how many carats are in this? 170 carats. 170 carats. The center alone is six carat, six and a half carat. And then it graduates in both directions. Just that two piece? Just the one piece. Just the one piece. One center, yeah. One of these centers is six carats. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. This is over 65 carats. It's a GIA certified brownish yellow. And it's, because it's deep, look at the way we finished it. So when it sits off the neck and you look in on the right or the left, you just see all beauty. I mean, look at the detail. Isn't that crazy? What? And that Dutch is done so beautifully. Put it on a simple chain so all the attention goes to the drop. And for some reason, I really, really like this chain. Simple, but really cool. Yeah, different. Wow. All right. Then we go from there, step it up to 100 carat. What? This necklace has 150 carats of diamonds. And the way I made it, the bottom detaches. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, 100%. When you spend that kind of money, you want to dress it up yeah. or dress it down? Yeah. 
So you can take it off with this? Yes, and wear just a diamond necklace or then add it as a drop. Or you can put this on something else. Correct. Yeah. And if you had a big emerald or ruby that I sold you, yeah. you can drop that off of this too. Yeah. So you got many different looks. Oh man. When we're saying spend that kind of money, what kind of money are we talking about? This is 10 million. 10 million dollars. Yeah. And That's then, 10 million. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> three. Another three. <laughs> we need a calculator. <laughs> yeah. Look at this one. Oh. Wow. That's a 70 carat yellow in the sun. This might be one of the most beautiful stones I've ever seen in my life. All handmade. Every stone from rounds to pear shapes, everything matches. And these are these are engagement rings by themselves. Yeah. They carry carry yeah. and have stones. Yeah. Just stunning. And is this like, I'm looking at this like a good eight carats, 10 carats? 14. 14 carats? Flanked by 13s, 12s, 11s, 10s, all the way back to no smaller than one. So the last one, that's a one. At least, yeah. Crazy. Oh. But the shapes match, the colors match, they're all serted. Wow. I'm gonna tell you, man, this is motivation. This is motivation to work hard. And, you know what I'm saying? Like growing up, we used to dream about robbing this kind of stuff. And now to be able to work legit, you know, and work hard to get the things, the finer things in life is such a blessing. Good day. Very good day. Good day, Bill Leals. <laughs> life is good. Life is good, bro. <laughs> All right, I gotta run some errands. Yeah. Um, you know. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow. All right, we'll connect tomorrow. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, my brother. Be safe. Right. Good to see you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Of course. I'm grateful thank you. to you. Thank you. You already know. Okay.